Okay, so let's get into the guide on how we install this VR mod for Grand Theft Auto 5. So first of all, you'll need a fresh install of uh, GTA 5 on your PC without any other mods installed. If you already own the game with uh, no mods on there, then you should be fine. Uh, just make sure the game is all up to date. Please take note guys, that this mod is for the story mode only. If you try and use it online, it's likely to result in a ban. Although this mod can work with other mods, compatibility is not guaranteed. So if you have any joy with that and you try it out, please leave it in the comments below. Now with this game in VR, it's a very intense experience. So if you're new to VR or you get motion sickness easily, you really want to take it easy. Especially when you, I found when you're on the ocean, that's sort of caught me out. I've been playing VR for years. It can help if you uh, go change the view. Uh, from the first person view to an outside view, so you take a step back, makes it a little less intense. Once your game's installed, launch it as normal on your desktop. Next, you want to go into the settings and change the following before installing the VR mod. Under settings, select gamepad, targeting mode, and make sure you toggle back to free aim. Then go to settings, camera, and change the following. Select allow independent camera off, and then go down to first person head bobbing and select off. Select first person, third person cover on, first person vehicle hood off. Then close down the game and make sure it's not running at all. Now the game is ready, we just need to install the mod, which I'll include our link on the description below. The download will be a .ra file. I used WinRA and I'll include a link to a free version of it below in the description. So uh, next you need to obviously uh, click on the download and then you'll need to uh, copy and paste it into your GTA installation. Uh, usually found on your C drive. So what you can do is go into Steam and select Grand Theft Auto 5, left click, select properties, under general, untick use desktop game theater while Steam VR is active. That needs to be done. Then select local files at the top, then select browse local files, and that will bring up your game installation. Now you need to paste that file onto your game installation, uh, extract the file on your game installation. Obviously I won't be doing it myself because I've already installed it. Okay, so then what you want to do is select down to the real config icon and you can select low medium high settings it depends on your obviously the power of your pc you can try it out on high and then if it doesn't work so well you can come out and you can change it afterward to medium or low okay so if you're like me and you're playing this on an oculus device i'm playing on my rift s you then want to launch oculus now with this uh, mod you unfortunately can't use your touch controllers it would need to be a gamepad or a keyboard and mouse I'll include a link to the pad I used, an Xbox pad, and also there's a dongle, it's not an official Xbox uh, dongle, I bought this, it's a lot cheaper than the official one, and that works. <laughs> Thank you. 